Specador generates accurate HTML and PDF documentation from source code and comments, including type and design hierarchies, various diagrams for module schematics, test bench architecture, timing diagrams or finite state machines, as well as summary sections, such as coverage or checks. Specador helps you keep the documentation in sync with the source code by automating the documentation process. A simple Specador invocation takes two arguments, dash lang to specify the language of your project, for example, vlog and vhdl, as well as the actual compilation arguments you would pass to any simulator using dash cmd. This is because Specador uses its built-in compiler to analyze the code and understand the project structure. When done, the path to the index.html file is printed. Open it in a web browser to visualize the generated documentation. Use the search bar or select an element from the table of contents. Scroll the page to read through the automatically extracted description of the entity and identify its generics and ports for which Specador has embedded common descriptions found in the source code. You have the option to choose between different markup languages to format the comments, such as restructured text or markdown. To customize the generated documentation, use dash preferences to point to a preferences XML file. The available preferences are documented in the Specador user guide. For example, you may filter out specific elements and indicate what diagrams to generate. You can customize the table of contents using the dash index arguments if you want, for example, to promote specific pages. To link additional documentation, you can provide files written in either restructured text or markdown using the dash attach argument. To generate PDF documentation, use the dash PDF argument on the command line. Note that PDF generation requires specific packages to be available on your system. For details, consult the user guide section linked in the video description. By default, if Specador detects errors during compilation, it won't proceed to the generation phase in order to prevent inaccurate documentation. You may choose to waive specific errors or force the documentation generation by passing the dash ignore compile errors argument.